very good morning uh, professor good morning to you. professor dr luka wanto dr luka wanto was born in rapallo italy in 1986 he received his bsc and msc in electronics engineering at the university of genoa italy in 2008 and 2010 respectively in 2014 he received his phd from the school of science and technologies for knowledge and information retrieval university of genoa with a thesis entitled learning based on empirical data in 2017 he obtained the italian national scientific qualification for the role of associate professor in computer engineering and in 2018 he obtained the same position in computer science he worked as assistant professor in computer engineering at university of genoa from 2016 to 2019 in 2018 he was co-founder of the spin off genabyte srl and in 2019 he obtained the italian national scientific qualification for the role of full professor in computer science and computer engineering in 2019 he became the professor in the computer science at university of pisa and currently he is associate professor in computer engineering at university of genoa he has been involved in several h2020 project like s2 rju ict and ds and he has been awarded with numerous awards the main are amazon aws machine learning and Somal Vico Best Italian Young AI Researcher Awards his first main topic of research is scientific uh, statistical learning theory with particular focus on theoretical aspect of problems semi supervised model selection and error estimation his second topic of research is data science with particular reference to the problem of trust or the ai the solution of real world problems by exploring and improving most recent learning algorithm and theoretical results in the field of machine learning and data mining he is the author of the book chapter model selection and error estimation in a not cell from springer book series on modeling and optimization in science and technology in which i am editor in chief and professor luca waneto is also a editorial board member of this book series today we are uh, we shall know about the interesting topic of trust or the ai and his uh, uh, area of research so with this i welcome dr waneto to this first one to one uh, interaction for the book promotion as well as for uh, knowing his research topic dr waneto welcome hi good morning yes uh let me ask you the first question what are your main research interest as uh, you previously mentioned my main research interest are uh, in the theoretical aspect of machine learning in particular statistical learning theory and the relation with the practical problems uh, of uh, learning from data Uh, with particular reference to trustworthy ai so the problem of learning from data not just based on uh, technical metrics but also on human related metrics correct so trustworthy ai this is a new topic a uh, new word i am listening for the first time because i have also done some work on uh, robotics and uh, machine learning uh, but uh, trust or the ai is a new word to me so can you elaborate on this topic uh yes sure uh basically trust or the ai is a, a new research trend that born after the the understanding that in many application uh, machine learning algorithm have reached uh, human or superhuman performance think about uh, the go at the alpha go instrument that beat the, the world champions of go and then people started to realize that uh, the implication of using ai in the real world uh, can uh, give not just the benefit but also bad aspects okay 
And so the idea is to try to build um, uh, systems, AI system that are able to demonstrate not just uh, uh, good behavior in terms of accuracy, for example, but they should also improve other aspects like sustainability, fairness, explainability, robustness, uh, and, pr and privacy-related issue uh, connected to AI. Uh, can you elaborate on the privacy of AI? What do you mean by that? Sure, uh, in the sense that when we learn from data, okay, uh, we have uh, the main goal of uh, building system that uh, optimizes uh, the accuracy of this model. So, for example, the recognition performance. Okay, but uh, in order to achieve this goal, there are uh, several other other goals to meet to met uh, that are not strictly related to the technical problem. But for example, we would like to learn from data by minimizing the energy consumption. So. Uh, sustainability. We want to create a model that do not uh, inherit uh, the biases in the data. So, for example, we do not want to discriminate subgroup in the population. So, we want to be fair in some sense. We want to make uh, uh, the, the prediction explainable because, for example, if you use this model in a credit scoring uh, uh, problems or uh, related issue, we want also to give to the people the reason why we provided or not the credit. We want to be robust because, for example, we show that this new deep learning model uh, can be easily induced into error by slightly modifying the, the, the input data. And this is a problem when you use, for example, uh, machine learning to, to recognize uh, cyber attacks. And the privacy uh, deals uh, exactly with the uh, in some sense, contradictory problem of learning from data, but uh, while keeping the, infor the, the information of the, of the individual, uh, in some sense, hidden from uh, the analysis. And for this reason, there are multiple options, like, for example, differential privacy or homomorphic encryption that try to demonstrate that it's actually possible to learn model from the data without compromising the privacy of the individuals. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so for all these terms like uh, accuracy, sustainability, fairness, uh, have you developed some kind of uh, say metrics for measuring those uh, parameters? Absolutely, in the sense that uh, obviously for accuracy, we all know uh, some metrics like, for example, recognition performance, uh, and distances, and so on. For sustainability, for example, we have developed a metric like a number of, uh, of operation to, performs, uh, to perform, uh, how much energy consumption you need to train or to make the forecast. For fairness, the, there has been a lot of uh, multidisciplinary research in defining, for example, metric like demographic parity or, uh, or equal opportunity that uh, gives you some, in some sense, a flavor of the fair or unfair behavior of the model. For explainability, it is a bit harder because it's not, it, it, uh, um, it remains a challenge to develop a, a so-called deterministic metric, a mathematical metric to represent something that actually has a, a deep relation with the, the human mind and the human understanding of, of particular concept. But there are some proposals. For robustness, there are a lot of ways to measuring the robustness of a model, like, for example, the uh, perturbation in norm P and something like that. And for privacy, again, there are a lot of, uh, of metrics also developed by, for example, the European Union uh, with the GDPR or the Data Act that uh, define metrics to be able to state that an algorithm is privacy aware. Correct. So in addition to the parameters, there is another parameter called resilience. Resilience. Are you, are you uh, accustomed with it? Resilience. Yeah, yeah, in the sense that yeah. when uh, resilience is a sort of uh, uh, sub problem of robustness, yes. in the sense that when you want to make a model robust, you want Correct. to make it also resilient. resilient. So robustness is a sort of uh, larger uh, hat to put on top of, re of resilience. Oh. Okay. 
so okay so so you mean to say the resilience factor is also considered within your robustness factor is it yeah 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 okay thank you uh, you have uh, in your book chapter model selection and error estimation in a not cell you have dealt with performance assessment and tuning how it is related to the trust or the of ai uh in this the, the book is a quite uh, general approach uh, to the problem of uh, building models that uh, are optimized with respect to one or multiple metrics okay so when uh, you change your perspective in building model you don't want to just optimize the accuracy but you want to optimize also the sustainability the fairness the explainability and once you have defined your metrics that, that represent this uh, new uh, new need what you get is that uh, the book uh, is general enough to tell you what can you do in order to be able to uh, optimize your model and guarantee the performance of your model from a statistical point of view using these new metrics correct uh, what do you think uh, will the major challenges of ai in the future uh, i think that right now uh, in in ai we are pretty good in solving uh, a very specific problem so we are able in a good way to solve the so called problem of specific intelligence so solving very specific task in with the human level or superhuman performance in the future what we will need to do apart from of course meet not just the right technical uh, uh, criteria and optimize those criteria we will need also to optimize this human metric related to trustworthy ai but more important will be to try to build uh, a more general inte intelligence so to build to be able to build models and to build uh, intelligence systems that are able to solve multiple tasks maybe in an online fashion so to that are able to learn by from their mistake to be able not to work well on average that but for example to work well also on particular sample let's uh, for example think about a mission critical issue where you don't you don't want simply to be good on average but you want to be good also in the worst case scenario and so we will need to enrich our ability to to construct the model from data in a way to better guarantee their performance in a real world situation taking into account both the the requirement of the application but also the requirement of the society which will be, be impacted by the use of these uh, tools correct correct uh now the data science and ai is being used in almost all discipline what will be your uh, say say about the application of data science and ai in business management area uh, what uh, we we actually are trying to do uh, by developing models that are able to meet all this metric is to be able to develop uh, models that out are automatically able to learn from the data as much as possible so to improve exactly this ability of this tool to be used also far away from the context of computer science computer engineering of expert of ai of a, or a particular domain but to be able to spread these tools also to field like business and so on where people are not specifically trained for you for using these tools but they can surely benefit by the use of this tool and so be able to construct uh, uh, ai systems that are uh, in some sense uh, as automatic as possible the buzzword now is automl network architecture search something like this will be another fundamental issue in the future so to be able to give uh, these tools in the end or so on an expert with the ability to provide guarantee on uh, the, their performance and so to be able to uh, guarantee that this tool will perform well with respect to some metric even if given in the end of non expert people thank you dr uh, oneto uh, for a one to one interaction you have given 
new dimension to AI, trust or the AI and measurement of the parameter like any human being, uh, accuracy, robustness, resilience, you have defined all the parameter to test the level of AI. Thank you, Dr. Oneto.